It's been a while since the game really pulled me in and I like a sailor was seduced. Sadly for you, there's no siren beckoning you to the sea, but instead there's me. With that shitty constellation prize aside, hear my call, give this game a second chance. The only way it could possibly disappoint is if you still harbor ill will. And if that's the case, what you need is therapy, not a video game. What I will say is that this is now my favorite battlefield game to date. The movement is buttery smooth. I have no clue what that squad was doing. I agree the launch was less than graceful, but I still don't fully understand this. But I also don't have to understand that. I'm not Xi Jinping. I don't care what you do with your internet freedom. Battlefield 2042 as of late is a great Battlefield game. I would say it's among the best. I do think a lot of people will still not agree with that, even though it's a pretty safe and fair statement to make. They have so much nostalgia for the old games. I'm not saying the old games are bad, the old games were great, they were fun, but this game is just as good if not better. And I feel like without nostalgia clouding everybody's mind, they would also agree with that. When I was growing up, right, I loved this show, and it was the Berenstain Bears. The show, if I were to watch it now, it would be dog shit. I wouldn't watch more than 10 minutes of it. Not to say it was a bad show. Oh, I thought you were kidding me. Not to say it's a, oh my god, behind me, you little rat. Not to say that it's a bad show, it wasn't, I loved it. But times have changed, and now I couldn't watch 10 minutes of it. The game feels great, almost bugless, not bugless, but it's a battlefield game. So for a battlefield game, this game is bloody bugless, which in itself is impressive. Uh, I'm a great teammate. One of the best you'll ever have. I'm, I'm a specimen known to God himself. Oh Amen. Better. Also better gun. Better. I am better than all the rest. Like no one ever was. This is a bull take. The reason why the old battlefields were so great and this one is frankly not looked out with the same limelight is because Neebs Gaming, Neebs Gaming was the best thing that ever happened to Battlefield. They crossed us all only these girls came but this release 2.4 reload and 36 bullets in a magazine. Magazine, yes magazine. I thought it was a clip, it's a magazine. Enemies hot there on. Oh my god, that's a like, but Battlefield's Friends was great. It was a great series. I know they tried it for 2042 because DICE like paid them to do it, but it just didn't have the same awe to it. Maybe it's me. Maybe it is nostalgia. Maybe I am the one that got fucking lured in by that seductive fucking liar. A game that I have huge nostalgia for is DayZ, and it's literally the driving force behind me still playing that game. If I didn't have nostalgia for that game, there's no way I would still be playing it in the year 2023. But since I do have those memories, which are probably core memories from my gaming experience. Oh my god. Yes, you, you king bunny mother. That guy would have been a bunny sniper. God damn. Whatever. Victory is ours. Oh, we got top of the leaderboard. Oh, top of the morning, Tuga. See, I died a lot, but in my defense, I was always capping a point. I was never not capping. 